Welcome RoboMasters. It's time for class. Today, we're going to talk about the sensor adapters. The sensor adapters allow third-party sensors to connect to the RoboMaster EP for programming, expanding the capabilities of the EP. Currently, the sensor adapters support ADC and I.O. interface sensors, such as photoresistor and tracking ADC sensors, as well as switch sensors like micro switches. Now, we're going to mount the sensor adapters. It is recommended to mount the four sensor adapters to the four corners of the robot chassis extension platform and then fix each one in place with four screws. Make sure the select button is on the outside and the two ports face inward. To connect the two rear adapters to the robot, we're first going to open the left and right chassis armor. Now, We'll use a 12 centimeter L-shaped data cable on each rear adapter to connect it to the hit detector port within the chassis armor. Then, we'll use two 14 centimeter data cables to connect the two front sensor adapters to the two CAN bus ports on the power adapter module. Now, we'll connect each sensor adapter to a third-party sensor. Here's an example, a switch sensor. So connect each pin from the third-party sensor into the port 1 of the sensor adapter. After mounting the sensor adapters, you can check in the RoboMaster app if they have been installed. Each sensor adapter has a default module number when it leaves the factory. Make sure that the module numbers of different sensor adapters are not the same, otherwise they will conflict. If the app prompts a message like, unable to connect more than one sensor adapter 1, then renumber the sensor adapters so that they do not conflict. The RoboMaster EP 
supports installing up to six sensor adapters. Open the RoboMaster app and connect to the robot. Enter into Settings, Extension Module, and click on the sensor adapters install. Then follow the prompts. Press and hold the select button on the sensor adapter for three seconds. The LEDs on the adapter will blink, indicating that it is now in addressing mode. Then short press the select button to change the module number. Shown in the figure here is what the four different LED indicators indicate in terms of the six potential module numbers. Ensure the module numbers connected to different sensor adapters are not the same. Otherwise, a module numbering conflict will occur. After confirming the module numbers, wait for 5 seconds. And the LED indicator will return to a solid light. Which means that the installation of the sensor adapter is complete. You can then view the status of each sensor adapter on the right side of the extension module page including the module number, the port 1 I.O. and ADC values, the port 2 I.O. and ADC values, and the firmware version. After the mounting and installation of the sensor adapter is complete, it can then be used. You can use a third-party platform to send sensor data. You can also go to lab and DIY programming in the app and use the blocks under sensor adapter to read the pin's value for programming. For more details, please refer to the programming guide. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thanks for watching!